Prime Minister, first of all, thank you very much <clears throat> for your kind words. Um, thank you for a very constructive, very positive meeting uh, this morning. Um, it is indeed a great pleasure uh, to be back uh, in, in Warsaw uh, and to meet you again. Um, we had an important discussion uh, on Russia's aggression against Ukraine uh, and our response to this grave crisis. To meet this challenge, we must show solidarity, we must show resolve, and we must show leadership. Poland knows the importance of solidarity uh, in the face of oppression. Poland knows the importance of resolve in standing up for freedom and justice. And Poland is showing strong leadership in this testing time. And um, I thank you for all you have done. Um, you played a central role in the response to the political crisis in Ukraine um, as people from across the country demanded a say in the future of their country. And you, you are a leading voice in Europe um, and in NATO as we assess um, the longer-term implications of this new situation for our own security. The crisis shows us more clearly than ever that defense matters and that cooperation between the two shores of the Atlantic is the best and most natural way to keep ourselves secure. Those are the lessons of uh, experience. We had already begun to implement them. We are already working together more to develop modern military capabilities to reverse the decline in defense spending and to focus on the capabilities we need most. <coughs> Poland is already playing a vital part in those efforts. And I'm confident that Poland will continue to invest in security and will stay vigilant. And let me assure you that as a member of NATO, you are safe. Anybody who would try to test allied solidarity will fail. We must make sure we strengthen our capabilities through stronger investment and stronger cooperation. And we must do it sooner, not later. This challenge, too, will demand solidarity, resolve, and leadership. Prime Minister, I know that Poland will continue to provide all this as we prepare for the important work ahead.